Hey everybody and welcome to a new video on E. Stampley Art. Uh, in this video we're going to be doing a little bit of an art haul. <laughs> Looking at supplies that I purchased mostly over the holiday season last year. So we're going to look at those and just for your future reference this will probably be the last art haul video I do for quite a while. Just because if you watched my previous video, one of my 2020 art goals is to purchase less art supplies. Um, because at this point, I have a fair amount of art supplies and so I need to use what I have and that, that is part of my 2020 goals. Uh, doesn't mean that I won't buy any art supplies, but I am definitely scaling back on what I have been purchasing. So with that being said, let's look at the art supplies that are now being added to my arsenal. So um, I've become slightly obsessed with watercolors. Um, I don't know if that's a fortunate or unfortunate thing. It makes me want all of the palettes everywhere, uh, but I, I am restraining myself. However, I did see this little uh, palette with these beautiful colors, these beautiful swatch colors on the front um, by Paper Fashion, I believe put out by Katie Rogers, a different watercolor set. But yeah, it's got a little, little palettes here. Even got um, a little ring on the back for you to hold if you need to. So that's that's really nice. Um, yeah, so can't wait to try that out. That should be fun. So in my last video, I used this pearlescent color set by Fine Tech um, that has like you know the standard you know metallic colors, your copper, bronze, the golds, and silvers and stuff. And so I got this pearlescent color set. These are more jewel tone colors, which are great. Uh, you got your like amethyst and your sapphires and like your rubies and purples and oranges. I mean, so if they're anything like these, uh, this is gonna be so fabulous uh, to work with. I mean, you can see it right here, how vibrant these are, how shiny. I mean, look how shiny that is. Oh, oh my goodness, look at that, look at that. Those are so pretty, beautiful and vibrant. And like I said, if they do anything like this set, then oh my goodness, I, I can't wait to use these. So with my efforts to hopefully paint more, especially on canvas, um, I wanted to try a few different acrylics. I have one set of Liquitex acrylics, but I wanted to try some Winsor Newton acrylic tubes. So the other white, it is missing a black. I'm surprised actually. So if anything, I might would add a black tube. So maybe I'll get a black tube to kind of go with this. And we have two yellows. Why would they put two yellows? Lemon yellow and cadmium yellow medium hue. I don't know, maybe this has a little more orange in it or something. Looking forward to using those and seeing how uh, they compare to um, other acrylic paints that I have used. So I finally got myself some Pasca paint markers. People love these on YouTube, so um, I figured I should get some. There must be something to them. I got this um, kind of basic pack and noticed there were some colors that I might want to use. So I got myself a purple and also a brown. So I got the gold and silver as well. And these are actually brush tip Pascas. My ideal thing is to hopefully use them on my next sketchbook when I start that to decorate the cover. So I think they'll definitely come in handy there. Can't wait. I got myself a set of the uh, Faber-Castell Gelatos. I have seen mixed reviews on these on YouTube. I know a lot of paper crafters use them. If you go to an uh, craft and, uh, arts and craft store, you usually find them in the paper crafting section. So I think they're mostly who the audience is for these, um, but artists, I have seen artists on YouTube use them um, to, like I said, mixed reviews. They said they're more kind of on a crayon based level, which I'm fine with. I like crayons, so, you know, um, but yeah, so, and apparently they're also water soluble. So I don't know. I got myself the metallic set because, you know, I figured, you can always use a metallic set, uh, adding a little shine here or there from some other pieces, uh, especially if you're doing like maybe a mixed media piece. Uh, I think these would work well. We'll see. Very curious to see how these will work. 
So continuing my trend of water soluble art materials, um, I got this set of Derwent Ink Tense Ink Pencils, a set of 12. I have a few Derwent products and I pretty much like them all. I like the way their uh, pencils work. They, they're very creamy. They go on the paper really, really smooth. I like that. And also they're supposed to be, um, look, they're supposed to look more like ink once you use, I guess, water with them. So that'll be interesting. I'll see how that compares to their regular water soluble pencils. Oh yeah. Prismacolor. Oh my goodness. I haven't even opened it. I, I really haven't. I, I just, I just like how it's nice and pretty and wrapped. Um, I have a small set of uh, Prismacolors that I got a little collection, but I definitely wanted to get more because they are the, I guess, pun intended, premier uh, colored pencil sets. So uh, yeah, I just had to get this set of 48. I had the perfect coupons to use for it and it was on sale. So it, yeah, it just called out to me and said, you want me, you know you do. Yep. He was right, I do. So I, I can't wait to crack these open and use them. Uh, and maybe compare them with some of the other color pencils that I have. Yes, yes, before you say anything. I know, I know. I've, I totally overdid it on getting uh, some Tombow markers <laughs> for the holiday season. But, 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 rest assured, these were all on sale and I used a coupon. So I was being frugal frugal people. That's how you get your art supplies. Being frugal. I already have a couple of these. I have the bright and pastel set and the skin color set. So I wanted to add to my collection some that um, just made sense. Um, so I got like the primary and secondary palettes, which, you know, that just, that just makes sense. And then obviously the uh, gray tones, all the grayscale colors. So I've got those. And then these three here are actually contain uh, newer colors that Tombow has come out with. And they are also Michael's exclusive. If you didn't know where I got them from, you do now. But yeah, so the watercolor set, the lettering set, and the botanical set. I totally overdid it on the Tombow markers, but part of me does not feel bad. I don't feel bad. I can't wait to watch these. <laughs> I do love some Tombow products. I have noticed they work really well. They're erasers. I use them a lot when I do my artwork. They are fabulous. So I probably totally overdid it on the uh, Tombow marker sets and I want to feel bad, but uh, I don't. Yep, I just don't because I know I will use them. Okay, so I have all these supplies, but what am I going to put them on? Ha ha. So all the watercolor paper I have right now is cold press. And when I was on vacation in August, I saw this cute little hot press um, packet. And I was like, oh, well, let me get some hot press to see how that would compare to cold press. Um, I like cold press. I've, that's what I've been using. Uh, I used it on uh, this piece here. This is cold press. So it has that, you know, beautiful little texture on it, which I really like actually. So the hot press is smoother. So I'm very curious to see how it takes the watercolor as opposed to the cold press paper. But I definitely want to try some hot press to see the, uh, the difference. So I'm used to drawing on um, white paper as most artists are, but I wanted to try something a little different. So I figured I would get these two toned mixed media pads and they're pretty hefty. Um, they're nine by 12, 15 sheets each. They're both uh, 184 pounds. So they're, they're pretty thick and they go with wet and dry media. So I'm very curious to see how they do with say colored pencils versus watercolor versus marker. So yeah, so I, I got the toned gray, which is beautiful to look at. It has a nice texture to it and also the toned tan as well. You know, there's a little bit of pulp in it, which is actually adds to it to me. Um, but yeah, so I got these two to try out and see how they would compare to do different types of artwork. I also got this um, black drawing pad by Canson. It is also a nine by 12. Um, it's a little thinner, it's a 92 pound, 
but uh, it's supposed to be good for colored pencil, gel pens, metallic markers, all that kind of stuff. Um, I have some metallic markers, I have gel pens, I have colored pencils that I just showed you, so that'd be great to use in here. I haven't really done anything on black paper, so it'll be very interesting to see how your thinking process can work differently trying to do using black, you know, because it's more, it's all about the highlights, I think, when, when you're working in black, you know, you're, you're make, trying to make stuff pop off of the page, and uh, I like that, so we'll see how that works. So, as you can see, I have plenty of art supplies to create some beautiful artwork for 2020. And I can't wait. I mean, between maybe doing some mixed media to obviously watercolor and markers and painting and using some colored pencils. Uh, I mean, I'm running the gamut here. I'm very, very excited about it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a nice thumbs up down below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to know about upcoming videos on my channel. And if you are waiting to see what I make with these beautiful objects in front of you, feel free to follow more of my artistic journey on Twitter or Instagram at eStampleyArt. And as always, I'd love to thank you guys for tuning in and checking out my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.